Hi guys, welcome to a new pick a card reading. I know I haven't done these in a while, but I've been very, very busy with other stuff, as you can tell in my other videos as well. And if you follow me on social media, you've probably seen it. But since we have a lot of time on our hands right now, I thought it would be best to do a little update, especially with this topic, which is what is coming for you in the rest of 2020. I know that a lot of people are either, either feeling really anxious or feeling really down, but some people are feeling really optimistic. So this is basically just a little bit of advice, maybe even a little bit of a hint at what you should be doing. Um, so yeah, take it as it resonates. Uh, we have three pals here, one, two, three. Choose what you feel drawn to. Remember to close your eyes, breathe a lot, and then whichever one you feel really connected to, pick that one. And the timestamps will be below either in the description or the comments. So I will start now. See you guys at your pile. Hi, pile number one. You chose this really gorgeous purple crystal so i'm just gonna go straight into it this is a really good reading in my opinion and in fact i remember when i was shuffling how good it felt like all the piles so everyone should be staying opt as optimistic as they can so i i know it's in an order however i really 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 want to pick out this strength card this one flew out it's crazy i feel like maybe this time has been quite challenging for you maybe it's been uh, a little bit more harder than you expected it to be uh, which you know i think <laughs> we all kind of unfortunately relate to but it's really clear here with this strength card that you've been able to really push through and you've seen the positives in almost everything that you can see positives in at a time like this um and you've held your ground you've stayed strong this is also a leo card by the way uh if i'm correct i hope i'm correct i think i'm correct uh so you might be a fire sign if that doesn't resonate don't worry i just like pointing that out sometimes um i'm a leo so this, it, it could resonate even more. But this also shows me that for the rest of 2020, you're going to stay in this strong mentality. You're going to pursue things you've always wanted to pursue because you've realised during this time, alone or in isolation or just, you know, sorry, <laughs> just in this tough time, how important it is to be pursuing the things you love, which I relate to. Again, maybe this is my pile. I felt really connected to all three paths, so maybe these are all just messages for me. Um, but yes, this is a clear sign to pursue what you want to pursue, because even though it's a, uh, a card about strength, which can be seen as physical or emotional or mental, I feel like, especially with all the ones energy, you're really going to be standing your ground. And I think this is also like, if you believe in signs, this is the sign to really go forth <laughs> go forward and do what you want to do and not let anyone hinder what you want to do in that in the rest of 2020 or, the re or your future in general but okay that was just my message with that card so I just felt really drawn to saying that but with the page of wands this card to me without the actual explanation Again, it's this idea of standing the ground. You can see he's isolated, which is quite ironic, but he seems rather confident. And again, these two, they make sense to me. Um, I feel there's possibly a, a, a person coming in for you. I feel it's more of a platonic relationship, but it could be romantic. So look out for that. Perhaps... You know, but since this came first, and I do like going in order, that this person that comes into your life, perhaps they are going to benefit you for better, and you have a strong bond, and it, it forms strong things in the future. Um, yeah, I mean, I really feel like there's going to be some form of journey <laughs> whenever i see cards that look like this it really resembles journey to me and the moon but that's didn't come up but 
I feel as if it might be an individual journey or there might be, actually I heard a message for some people, if you think there's someone that is looking at your social media, they're doing it because this is the idea of watch, like if you can see he's watching, he's always looking, there's, and I feel like the majority of my audience are female, so this is completely, you know, tarot just doesn't deal with gender really, but this is someone looking at your social media, someone crushing on you, someone watching you, and with right next to strength card, it could be a really beneficial uh, bond, relationship, whatever it turns out to be. So those are your first two messages for the rest of 2020. Perhaps you pursue this person after the end of quarantine or whenever that is for you. Then we come to the five of wands. That sounded like it was really negative. I'm sorry, it didn't mean to. Um, this is the idea of competition, the idea of a, a fight, but um, not like a negative fight, but more like a physical battle, I guess. But it's not necessarily negative. I feel like with this message that really stood out to me about the strength card, about you know pursuing what you love, about going forward with what you want to do, really standing your ground, I feel like this really will come into it anyway in you know, common sense, you know, if you go into something you love, there's always going to be competition because we all have things in common with other people. So these people may be your competition, but there is so much good energy here that I feel like this won't even hinder you that much. It's probably just a little bit of a like heads up, like it's not going to be a, just a like a flat out journey where it's so easy. Um, which again is just common sense but yes just look out for competition don't worry because i feel like with this strength card you're going to be absolutely fine uh in whatever like aspect this means um it also means uh a lot of it's it's to do with financial stuff so again this is why i felt like this was to do with jobs so if you don't have a job it could be studies i know when tarot readers say specific things and it doesn't resonate and that's the card that you card or gem you felt i mean crystal you felt really drawn to it can be kind of disheartening but you have to remember that you just have to make the um you have to make the message really stick out for you you have to turn it to what resonates with you um and it doesn't make it any less true you know it just means that <laughs> there's more than one person watching this so it could resonate with anyone but remember that i do do personal readings and they are really really cheap so if you want to have a personal reading with me um message me on instagram uh, or email me below and I will give you my price range uh, and you can ask me probably as many questions as you want so yes anyway back to cards this is like a financial thing which is why I felt like this was a job thing so I don't feel like you'll have too much struggle with abundance but I feel like you may have had in the past and I feel like it may feel like there's a struggle of an income, but I see, I feel like this is the end of the year. I feel like you're really going to come into something good because you fought for it. That's what I feel with all of these cards, actually. So then with the final card, oh my god, I have to hiccup. Sorry. <laughs> with the Seven of Swords. Okay, this, this one... It's not negative. I know I sound like it's going to be negative, but I promise it's not. I just have a way of, with my voice. <laughs> um, but yes, okay, sorry, where am I? I need to sit down. This is heavily uncomfortable for me. Okay, this is a really good card. This is a really good card. The only reason that I ever feel kind of negative about this is because it seems as if because it seems as if the person here this person here is struggling with something listen we all have our shit you know we all have our baggages we all have um stuff to deal with all the time in so many different aspects of life but 
I feel like, especially since two are in the ground, that you're starting to relieve yourself. Plus, he does not look very happy, and it's not a very concerning looking card on the surface anyway. Um, it's a really good card. I feel like this is a sign, again, if you believe in them, to start letting yourself heal from all the negative stuff you've been through or all the hardships you've been through um, and working towards a better self, which I feel like you really will reach at the end of 2020 or, you know, beginning of 2021, um, which is a lot of time. So you'll be fine. Um, I feel like you're going to be a lot more stable um, with your home life. If that might be an issue for you, I feel like that will get better. And if it's not an issue for you, then maybe it'll, it'll still get better. Um, you know, there's always better, I guess. Um, and if you can see, like, the differences between this card and this card, the isolation, the darker tones, um, and then the brighter tones, and there are people in the background, and this is kind of, you know, you can see more things happening. I feel like... This is definitely such a journey for you the rest of 2020 and such a positive one as well. You know, it's a reminder here that things will still be up and down. Like life is like that. But in, at the end of the day, you're gonna be so much happier doing really great things. And it's funny, I love how this these things happen, how it goes blue, blue, and then, then there's yellow in between. Um, which again, just shows that journey thing from sorry if you can hear noise it's my mum um from you know up and down up and down this is definitely representing that so this is the end of your reading i hope you enjoyed it remember that it's just you know advice i like the idea that tarot is more so advice than anything else and if you want it to be a prediction take it that way for sure 100 percent um but it seems like it's going to be a really good year for you and that this time and isolation maybe was even good for you um, and I feel like there's not much you're going to have to worry about um, so I hope you guys are safe hope your family is safe hope your friends are safe and well and I hope that you enjoy this reading and I will see you in my next video Hi group number two, you chose this really beautiful brown crystal gem, stone, one of those words. <laughs> All I have to say is that as I was displaying this out, the stone flew across the room and I felt, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like possibly this is my reading i've said this in the first one as well but i think all of these have like specific messages for me as well um remember that you can choose more than one video uh i mean group so i know it looks really positive and then goes to negative but i promise life's a journey so we're gonna get through it and i'm gonna tell you how your 2020 is gonna be which is gonna be fine it's gonna be great remember law of attraction, manifestation, you can do it. Remember, this is not set in stone. You can change anything about your life that you wish to. You have your own free will. And that if you are fearful of an outcome of something, to be positive about it. Because, you know, positivity is so important. And I know it's really hard during a time like this. However, let's get into it, everyone. <laughs> Why did that sound like, um, you know, those assemblies? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> okay. Wow, seven is really prominent in um all of these readings. Okay, so I love this <laughs> card so much. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites, but I like this one too. So, seven of cups. Immediately when I see cards like this, all it says to me is fortune. So you're going to come into a lot of money, you're going to come into possibly a lot of fame, you're going to come into good fortune, not just financially or job-wise, but, you know, friendship. I feel like relationship-wise, you know, with friends and, um, oh no, <laughs> and family and housewise maybe um 
I feel like obviously we cannot see this person if you know what shadow self is it's kind of like the darker parts of you that we spiritual people often aim to heal i don't know if this is your shadow self i feel like it's kind of a mixed uh interpretation remember that this is a general reading for more than one person so if you do want a one-on-one -on -one reading feel free to hit me up on instagram or email me um but I feel like you might be unaware of the good things coming. I feel like this isn't planned. I feel like this is um, unexpected. And some would argue that that's the best. Um, and I feel like this is definitely something that's supposed to be in your path anyway. You know, despite everything going on, that this, is, this was supposed to happen for you. So something really good is gonna happen. Um, could be related to so many things so i'm gonna get into the rest of the cards to try and maybe pinpoint what that could be so we obviously have the ten of cups here okay. so this ultimately is very re uh, relationship based very familial based um it says a lot about you know there's gonna be celebration you can see it's like a rainbow it's gonna be really happy <laughs> i feel like this might be around september for you um I don't know, I'm just getting those those that, those vibes. Hold on, let me just see if this is straight. I'm not editing any of this out, so. Just have to be candid about everything. Um, yeah, I feel like September is gonna be really good for you. Just heard that, it's significant. Um, I don't know if any of you are of age to have children, but maybe you have children and they're going to be really happy. Maybe this is just your friends who are a little bit younger than you. They're going to be really happy. I feel like you're going to be in a partnership or you're going to meet someone around September that you will end up in a partnership with and you're going to feel really happy and over the moon. You can see that they're like, it's kind of like the countryside. They're surrounded by nature. I feel like maybe you're going to be traveling a little bit more um, than usual. Uh, or you're going to end up in a place where you didn't think you would end up going to metaphorically or physically but overall it's going to be amazing this is a really positive spread so next card queen of pentacles so oh we do like a good pentacle don't we <laughs> um this is you could uh say it's to do with financial stability pentacles are often related to money um and it's the queen, so a lot of money. Um, you could come into a, a job opportunity, you could come into just a lot of random money, uh, maybe uh, inheritance, maybe, you know, you just meet someone and they give you a little gift, something along those lines. I feel like it's gonna be really, really positive. The colors in this one are immaculate. Um, I love the yellows and the reds. Um, it's really positive, um, that combination for me. And, I feel like there's some form of status and maybe if you are looking for some form of a platform that state that platform grows a lot so like again there's so much nature around I feel like you're going to be really in a place of happiness of where you feel comfortable and at home that really really resonates uh, with me as well hopefully um, um and I feel like might get some female friends coming in um or a female friend that you already have is gonna play a really significant role in the rest of your 2020. Um, but overall, again, it's just amazing. I feel like whatever opportunities that came around here, so basically as soon as you leave ISO or whatever is happening right now with you, this is just, you, you are able to take some opportunities and this is kind of like the outcome. It's gonna be really positive. You're gonna be content. I feel like it's gonna be not so overwhelming as maybe you thought it would be. I feel like it's gonna be a really calm, content and peaceful um, moment in your life uh, and of the year. So then let's, let's talk about, let's talk about this one. Um, let me just i have a booklet here that i just like reading from sometimes so i'm just gonna find the card there we go okay so okay let's just talk about it nine of ones here's the thing ones i actually really like the energy of ones ones i said this in the previous pile because they had lots of ones uh cards 
Um, wands, really to me, whenever I see them, no matter how negative or positive, they really mean standing your ground. So I feel like you may come to a point where you have to make a decision and you have to stand your ground. This is a sign saying, stand your ground, you know? Don't listen to what someone else says. Don't do something just because someone else wants you to. And it's gonna be um, a scary time. It's not gonna be bad, it's just gonna be full of a little bit of fear. You might be a bit anxious. I feel like you won't know which way to go, even though you deep down, I feel like you know what you want, but I feel like this decision might be a really tricky one. It might be, you know, to move in between places or to go to higher education or not, to um, choose to stay with some family or not. I don't know, I'm just hearing loads of messages. Um, I feel like it could be, I don't think it's like friend related at all. I feel like it's a bit more um, self related, home related, not really financially related, but maybe job related. Um, I'm just gonna look at the booklet here. So it's, you know, you've got a lot of strength and the strength card came out in the first part. So there's a lot of similarities between the piles and it's probably because I don't have a widespread right now. Um, my surface isn't very big and I want more decks. I am getting more decks, uh, especially during ISO. I feel like I should be investing in more decks, um, oracle cards and stuff. So I will be doing that. However, let, let me just maintain my focus. There's a lot of strength here for you to even have this decision to make. There's a lot of um, opportunity if you stand your ground. I feel like there won't be like an explosive bad ending if you choose what you love or even choose what you don't. I feel like you've got to go with what your heart says, especially because I feel like this opportunity might be really significant or special or like, you know, otherworldly and unique to you. Um, obviously for some people it may be a smaller decision than others watching this, but Again, take it how it resonates and come back and tell me how it goes if this is the situation. Um, you may have competition, I feel. This is also a theme that came up in the first part. So maybe you chose the first part too, or, you know, because you can choose more than one, or you felt drawn to it. Um, there may be competition and it may, you may be, st I've heard that you may be stuck in this, um, idea of comparing and we really as a society just need to like get out of that completely because it is so unhealthy and toxic to be comparing yourself and I think it's good to have standards for yourself it's great to um expect stuff of yourself and work hard because of those expectations but I don't there's it's such a difference and a fine line oh hi styles um between expectations and then like pushing yourself over a limit and comparing yourself to the point where it makes you unhappy so like maintain everything that you feel here maintain it when you have this decision so it's not scary and so it doesn't end badly because if you maintain this contentment this happiness this journey this decision will be easier for you to make also, there may be some sort of delay to something, which is, you know, this is by the end of the year, so, oh, I don't know, maybe some of you want to go into higher education, maybe there will be a delay with that, maybe it'll just be a different situation than you thought it was going to be, maybe you, you, sorry, I'm just cleaning this, maybe there's, um, a job you were offered that there may be a delay getting into, um, maybe... You might struggle, come to terms with um, this decision or this delay or whatever thing it is that may on the surface seem really negative, but it's actually not that bad. Um, and I feel like you're going to realise that really quickly if you make this decision, if you understand the delay, if you go forward with what you love in this mood, in this aspect, that, where, how you felt here, you are going to return to it. I, I feel that you are going to, from this, this situation that feels negative on the surface, you're going to get past that really quickly. In fact, maybe even before the end of 2020, and you're gonna return to this. That's how I feel. 
So yeah, that's a really good reading and very specific. <laughs> so it might only um, appeal to a few of you. It resonated with me actually quite a bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you, your friends, your family are safe and well. And I will see you in the next video. Hi, pile number three. You chose this lovely crystal over here. Um, let me just be so candid with you right now. I'm not really editing this video because I don't have the time. <laughs> I'm filming it on the day I'm posting it. Um, but I'm really, really happy. I'm feeling really positive about this video about the, the spreads. So let me just explain. So with part one, it was really positive, um, quite low-key in terms of all the positivity um as in you know not not nothing massive happening um remember remember you can choose more than one pile yeah it's totally possible to relate to all three because right now i am even though i'm the reader so maybe it's a bit different maybe these are all you know hidden little messages for me as well um but i felt really drawn to pile two and three so let's get into it so pile two also was really really positive and then by the end of the year um they're gonna have a little bit of a, a decision to make and it may seem really scary on the surface but it's actually gonna be a really good outcome so here's the reason why i'm telling you that i feel as if everyone's gonna have this is happening through all the groups everyone's gonna have this idea of up down up down so there's gonna be some really good highlights, really, not low lows. I feel like no one's gonna reach such a low as this time now because we aren't really gonna be taking as much for granted as we were before. So I feel like it might just be like loads of highs and then coming back down a little bit and then loads of highs and coming back down a bit. So I know you're probably seeing this and you're probably seeing this card and then you're seeing these completely opposing cards and you're thinking, what does this mean? So let me get into it. I feel like you guys, there's someone who's gonna be like British here because <laughs> I feel like this is more now and then this is like August and whereas like in the other ones it was like this is September so I feel like other countries are coming out of this a little bit slower some maybe this is just you're in a country where things are happening a bit quicker and that's not bad not good you know it, it, take it as you feel uh um so let's get into it five of pentacles <laughs> um I know that the five of pentacles and the tower are so 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 contradicting to the world and ace of pentacles which is actually i have um the world um tapestry you've probably seen it in some of my videos it's my favorite card out of the entire deck and the ace of pentacles is an amazing one especially to end on but let's start with five of pentacles so this explains definitely um a little bit of struggle possibly money struggle i feel like that's more than anything i don't feel like it's actually quite detrimental although it might look it <laughs> this is a horrifying card to look at but the meaning isn't actually as dark um there's possibly i feel like for some of you this time in iso has been quite hard or you've had definitely moments where you've hit what feels like a rock bottom or possibly god forbid um someone you know got sick um but next to the world it's so weird because it feels like this time in iso is gonna be either like you know okay or really negative or just negative or maybe even just a little bit positive but you you, you know you're, you're frustrated i feel like frustrated for you um <laughs> it's definitely reading for me um but i feel like you aren't gonna take it for granted i feel like you're gonna get, you're in this you're in this energy right now you you are feeling more negative than positive than you would like to but you already i feel like you already know so much positive is coming so soon um so i feel like even though this is the rest of 2020 this is like the very beginning of the rest of 2020 so from maybe from like right now so you are gonna feel 
a mix of emotions I'm he hearing. You might have some minor issues, maybe financially, job-wise, with what's going on, which is totally understandable. You are definitely not in the boat alone. Um, but no worries because it's right next to the world. Oh, I love this card with all my heart. Immediately, I'm feeling so positive. I have to say, when shuffling pile three, I know I don't shuffle like on camera purely because I don't have the storage and I'm not doing it on a professional camera on my tarot readings because my camera is so weird and likes to shut off every 10 minutes. Um, so this is on my phone, so I don't have a lot of storage. But when I was shuffling, oh my goodness, I just heard the word power over and over again. They were flying out every which way. I I felt it. <laughs> I felt it. You are going to come into so much power. So much power. You are going to, you know, if some of if some of you want fame or you just want a platform, it's coming to you. It's growing. I, f I just heard growing. It's, you know, it's definitely on its way. Traveling. You're definitely going to travel, whether that's local or worldwide. I know that some people, when they hear that, they're going to be like, what, what what was everything going on? How is that possible? Well, you know, most countries haven't actually shut their borders. Um, you know, a lot of them are reopening and obviously that's your opinion on how you feel about that but it's possible so that's the point maybe you want to travel locally to places you haven't been yet maybe this is you not taking where you live for granted anymore but also traveling you know as much as you can uh, internationally worldwide because again you're not taking it for granted anymore i'm feeling you are really grateful coming out of this i feel like um it's made you realize a lot of things about yourself and about your life and about what you want. So many opportunities are coming. I feel actually like there's a romantic uh, relationship coming in around summer, August, I'm feeling. Um, maybe July, I heard for some of you. I feel like this person is going to be amazing for you, whether it's short term, long term. Uh, again, remember you can DM me or email me if you want a pro part. Uh, I can't speak private personal reading. Um, that will be in so much more detail. These are just general for more than one person, so it might be a little bit, you know, hit and miss for some of you. Um, but yes, yeah, so so positive. Honestly, your summer is gonna be amazing. Maybe it's your birthday. If it is, me too summer babies i love it you're just gonna feel really content and happy i can feel it like that's why i'm getting excited because i can feel your happiness um and then next to the tower now a lot of people see the tower as like a destruction of things negative however the tower actually means like new beginnings i feel like there's gonna be an opportunity for you that you feel you can't miss um Here's the thing, take it slow, as slow as you possibly can. Don't rush into anything. Make sure, I heard contracts, make sure you are reading your contracts. Make sure you have someone there who is helping you financially, financially maybe family or a friend that you can really trust, um, that is advising you. But I don't feel like you're gonna make any wrong decisions. I really heard that, especially right next to the Ace of Pentacles. Whatever decision you make, here is going to be detrimental in a good way <laughs> like it's going to affect the rest of your life um or at least the rest of your year or upcoming year it's going to be influential on a lot of things you do and i feel like it's going to bring a lot of good opportunities but it's a new beginning i feel like you might move somewhere new i definitely had an opportunity like i said before so maybe it's a job maybe you come into a lot of money just be careful, take things slow, think about everything, read everything through, don't sign anything until you're sure. Um, but it's a new beginning and new beginnings are amazing. This just means an, a chapter is ending of your life. So maybe that's sad for you. Maybe you're a bit sentimental. Maybe you are afraid or nervous for this new beginning, which is totally valid. And again, this really hits home for me, it really resonates for this year for me. This is September maybe. Um, and then this is like the rest of the year. Yeah, definitely. Just, it honestly, it's not bad. <laughs> like I just, I just have to say that it's not bad. This is really amazing actually. And I feel 
like you're gonna choose the right thing whatever it is whether it's a decision or you know taking up an opportunity you're gonna you're gonna know what to do and you have to trust your intuition and your gut to really listen to yourself here with ace of pentacles you're gonna do the right thing ace of pentacles is just good all round you know it's money abundance um, I really feel like love is going to be really a strong thing I feel like this is more of an independent thing or opportunity even though I said there's like someone coming in I feel like they're going to be here with you throughout the entire thing so maybe this does turn into a long-term relationship maybe it's a soulmate connection I feel like it is um might even be a friend you know platonic soulmate um either or and I feel like you're going to come into, you know, love, abundance. So there's going to be, I had celebration. There's going to be celebration. I feel like um, I had public eye. So maybe some of you are really gaining on a platform or something like that. Or, you know, if you just want to be successful in something, that success is coming. So, you know, and people are going to recognize it. You know, friends, family, they're going to really appreciate what you do and, recognize what you do and um praise you for what you do whether that's you know whether you're a doctor whether you're a scientist whether you're a mathematician whether you're a teacher whether you want to be famous or a singer or an act whatever it is people are gonna recognize it appreciate it and you're gonna make it this is such a successful card and it's definitely as it's ace you're making this almost on your own like i feel like there's an opportunity and you've taken it or you've not taken it depending on it, what's right for you and you know what's right for you but you have worked so hard on this by yourself which is incredible so really 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 amazing just your year is going to be incredible it's gonna again remember that life is not just one you know stable <laughs> emotion uh of happy or you know lead of events it's gonna be a little bit up and down um a little bit crazy at times but it, at the end of the day your 2020 the rest of it is going to be incredible just keep working hard on what you love i heard that and remember that you deserve rest i feel like some of you won't rest that's such a message for me as well you deserve to rest and i feel like 2021 you're going to get a little bit more rest than maybe you did this year even though we're in ISO, I've been working my ass off throughout the entire thing, so I completely get it if you feel that way. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be amazing, you guys. Really, really, really positive. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you and your friends and your family are safe and well, and I will see you guys in the next video.